Do you want the one strategy that will change everything for you when it comes to business development? You've got to join me for that one strategy on this episode of The Inside BS Show. Hi, I'm Dave Lorenzo. I'm the godfather of growth and I want to welcome you to today's show where we're talking about the one strategy that will change everything. So, you get up in front of an audience, you're speaking to a large group, or you're writing an article and it's a fantastic article, or you're making videos and although you're doing great work, you're putting out a lot of content that has been sourced from people in your client community, nobody is coming to you. You're not generating any new leads. What's going wrong and how can you fix it? Well, the simple fact of the matter is if you're speaking to an audience or you're writing articles or you're doing videos like this and you're not generating leads, it's because you're not making people an offer. I call that offer, whether it's in video or in a speaking engagement or in an article, I call that offer a honeypot. You see, I used to read Winnie the Pooh to my kids and I noticed that Winnie the Pooh always would lure his friends in with a pot full of honey. He loved honey and he would go and pursue pots full of honey. The CIA calls specific agents who go out and seduce members of the target audience, the CIA calls those agents honeypots. They will go out and seduce the enemy spies and get information from them and they call them honeypots. Bees are attracted to big pots of honey. So whether you're Winnie the Pooh or you're a CIA agent or you're just a very ambitious, industrious worker bee, honeypots are great because they lure people in. So let me share with you five things that you can use as a honeypot and give you some examples about how you can use them. The first thing you can use as a honeypot is a free report. And the report has to be in complete alignment with the topic that you're speaking about or the topic that you're writing about. So for example, if you're delivering a speech on cybersecurity, you should offer your audience a report about cybersecurity. So at the 75% mark of your speech, you'll say, I'm going to take some questions now and then I'll have one final concluding story for you. But before I do that, I want to offer you my free report, five things you need to know about cybersecurity, but your internet service provider will never tell you. If you want this free report, simply pass your business cards to the center aisle and I will email you a copy of this report when I get back to my office. That is a honeypot offer. So you're delivering a speech on cybersecurity and you're going to share with them a report on cybersecurity in exchange for their contact information. Now why is it valuable for you to offer this honeypot at your speech? Well you're speaking to an audience say of 100 people. You don't know which 30 or 40 or 50 people in that audience might be ready, willing and able to do business with you but offering this honeypot is a way to determine who's interested. So the 30 people that give you their business cards, they're immediately interested. Those are warm leads. You have to call them because they will want to do business with you. You can also offer this free report in an article. Let's say you're writing an article and it's going to be published on a trade industries website. So the industry association, you, you are an engineer and you're writing an article and it's going to be posted on the website of the International Association of Architects. In your article, you can say, I delve into this topic in way more detail for my free white paper titled five things you need to know about X, Y, and Z. Go to this email address, send an email there, and I will reply with that white paper immediately. So that's how you can use a report in an article. There are dozens of different ways to use it, but the report is the foundational honeypot that you should be using as a lead generation tool. The second type of lead generation tool you should use is a how-to video course. This can be as simple as five videos from your YouTube channel bundled together with some additional commentary, and that could be a how-to course. You can set this up on a website, and then you can offer that how-to video course to your audience in a speaking engagement. You can offer it in a report, you can offer it in an email. How-to video courses are fantastic ways to get people interested in who you are and what you do, and they're also a great offer for you to make in an audience setting. The third thing you can offer as a honeypot, it's not my favorite thing, but it's something you can offer is a consultation. If you already do free consultations, you can offer a consultation as a honeypot. I'll give you 
example. My client, Steve Klitzner, is an IRS resolution attorney. He handles IRS controversy work. This means here in the United States, people who don't pay their taxes work with him to mitigate the damage. They work with him to reduce the fines they'll have to pay. They work with him so they don't have to go to jail when the IRS is coming after them. So Steve will do a talk to say real estate agents. Real estate agents get paid all in one shot and they're responsible for paying their own taxes. Their taxes aren't withheld when they sell a home or when they sell a property. So Steve will do a speaking engagement to real estate agents. And at the middle, in the middle of that speaking engagement, he'll say, if you want my checklist, five things you need to do if you haven't paid taxes for three years or longer, all you need to do is send an email to this address. It'll be confidential. I will reply with the free report. That is phenomenal, but he takes it even a step further. If you want to have a free consultation with me, all you need to do is email me, steve at floridataxsolvers.com, and I will reply with some times when I'm available for a free consultation, and we can discuss your issue and I'll help you sleep better at night. So some people will opt in for the free report and the consultation. Some people will just opt in for the report. Some people will opt in just for the consultation. In Steve's case, he does free consultations anyway. He's not gonna charge for them. So offering the consultation as a honeypot is a great way for him to immediately determine who's interested. And 90% of the people who get those free consultations sign up to become clients. Think about it. You're not gonna sign up for a consultation with an IRS resolution attorney unless you have a problem that needs to be resolved with the IRS. The fourth thing you can use as a honeypot is an event invitation. So if you're speaking to somebody else's audience, you've been invited to come to one of my events as a speaker, you can offer tickets to your event as a honeypot. If you want two free tickets to my event, the first 10 people that rush to the stage and hand me their business card will get those free tickets. Boom, 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 boom. You get 10 business cards, you got 10 people who are interested interested. If you want, you can offer it to everyone in the audience and they can all give you their business card and then they'll all come to your event. Event invitations work really well for people who you want to capture and get to come to an event. The fifth thing you can offer as a honeypot, and I do this sometimes, is a book that you've written. Now, here's the thing about books. They're a little expensive, right? Even a self-published book is gonna cost you $3 or $4. So if you're gonna offer a book as a honeypot, it should be to a highly qualified audience. So in my case, if I were speaking at a business development conference for lawyers, all those lawyers in that room are interested in business development. They paid money to come to the conference. I help lawyers with business development. That's the ideal audience for me. That's an audience I would offer a high value honeypot like a book. I wouldn't take a chance and offer a book to an audience that I hadn't qualified first. So a book is a great offer to people who you know are your exact target audience. I've given you five different types of honeypots. I've demonstrated how you can offer them to your target audiences. Why is this the one strategy that changes everything? Because you, as a professional, will often be invited to speak or to publish or to write. And you'll take that opportunity, you'll give the speech of your life, and you'll get no leads out of it. This strategy changes any audience into a lead generation machine, whether you're speaking to them, whether you're making videos for them, or whether you're publishing content for them. Use this honeypot effectively, and it will catapult your business development. It will make you a business development machine. You know what else will make your business development machine? The next video that's filling in right below me right now. Be sure to join me for that video because in that video, we're going to talk specifically about your mindset, the mindset that's essential for growing your business. Join me for that video right now.